Alright, I've been asked a couple of times to make a video on this, so we're going to give it a go. See if I can make it nice and simple. My favorite new app, IR Sidekick Delivery. The saying is awesome in everything that trading paint should be. Um, I'd ask multiple times on Twitter for trading paints to allow you to remove a paint scheme or something. Thankfully, someone smarter than me that knows how to make something useful uh, came up with this. And I'm going to show you how I use it and how easy it is. Let's just say, well, we got an all black car here. And, well, I guess it's not all black, but it's uh, boring. So let's make it better. So all I got to do is click on here. Now I've created a whole bunch of tags so that I have like 20, 30 options for some cars because of the bigger fields, but let's just give him that. And it's that simple. You change that. Now we got a NASCAR scheme. Everything looks way better. And uh, yeah, now the car numbers don't change and the tire or the rims don't change. But that is uh, how it gets it done. So if you don't want to see a certain paint scheme like these stupid schemes, then all you got to do is pull that up, number 26, and we will give him, and eh, green number doesn't work with that, so let's go with, nope, that doesn't work. We'll find one that works with a green paint scheme, or a green number. Okay, that's a little better, so... Now he's Carl Edwards. So, very nice, simple tool. Uh, you can also use it to uh, tag, like, reckless drivers, which will make them nice, bright, and orange. Uh, you can name these whatever you want. You can untag, so it goes back to normal. And, uh, simple sort here. But yeah, it's great. If you don't want a paint scheme on them, you just want them to go back to default, just create, like if you have a tag for another type of car, you can just do this, and then it goes back to their default scheme. So, um, that is very useful to just clean up, especially if you're like me making videos. I just want to race and create content. So, that is why... I just changed paint schemes. Plus, can get rid of all the setup shop advertisements. Um, now I don't have the orange paint schemes or the mustard schemes, so no one even knows who set up shops other than the ones that are wrecking over and over. But, uh, yeah, so how do you do this? It's actually really simple. Here's the... Uh, forum post for his program and I'll put this in the comments and pin it so that you don't have to search for it you can download it there but then um, what you gotta do is let me get it. our iRacing folder and it creates this sidekick folder within that um, you just go into the tags and you have the name of your tag dot the car name dot car. Once you create that file with a paint scheme, then boom, you can put it in there and it works. So car names, easy to find because uh, you got all of these. You can also open up this and it will tell you all the proper car names, the spaces matter. Um, so just kind of copy it there, but it's very, very useful. There's a ton of other tools in this that I haven't even gotten close to using. You can set up collections uh, to populate for all the uh, unpainted cars in your races. Um, I asked him if it's possible to get it so that you can do custom numbers. So let's say the number two car, I want to make it a Rusty Wallace paint scheme with the custom number on it. 
That way the numbers at least match the paint scheme as well. I don't know if that's going to be anywhere near it. This, what I'm using, is basic and free. I believe that license features are the um, random live livery and stuff like that. So I do it the hard way by creating a tag. And it takes me like three seconds to go click, 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 click on all of these and change their schemes. It also allows you to just sit here and see everyone's paint scheme out of the game in this little window. So if I click here, no paint scheme shows up. I know they need one. Boom. Rusty Wallace. There we go. And boom. Well, we've already given Carl Edwards, so let's go there. So just that simple. Um, yeah, that's all you need. Now, where do you get paint schemes? Well, you can go to Trading Paints, create an AI um, roster, go in there, and now you have all these paint schemes. Nice and simple. These were already set up. This was when I was trying the custom numbers before, but uh, like what I did in MX5, I just took the paint schemes out of here and relabeled them and put them into the tags folder and yeah so uh, it's a little bit of work to get set up you don't have to have a bunch of schemes you can just have one scheme but i don't want a whole bunch of greg biffles in one race so um that's why i've got 20 some schemes and uh it's just a really nice, simple tool that does more than uh, what Trading Paints does. So, um, everyone's headed off to the race, but yeah, it works well. You can add spec maps as well for each tag, I believe. And uh, I'm glad I have it. It's made everything look much better. Default schemes are okay, but once you do a race full of real schemes, just it looks so much better. So it'll be really cool if he does come up with a way to just automatically take a AI roster that's one through twenty and put those schemes across the board um, for number one, number two, number three, so that car numbers match up and you have real world schemes. That's what I hope comes in the future, but. Yeah, it's a really good program that helps me keep my videos exactly how I want them. So that's how I do it. If you need a little bit of help, hop in Discord and I can kind of point you in the right direction. Um, one thing that I use to view the files when I get an AI roster downloaded, I use Adobe Bridge just because it quickly shows me the images for a TGA. But, yeah. Any questions, let me know in the comments or hop in Discord. But it's a great tool. Hope that helps for the people that wanted to learn how to use it. Thanks for watching.